All right, guys, we're starting a new project today on proportion. And so we are going to do a bullpup MMS proud project. And to do this, we have a few steps, okay? So we just learned about what typography is. And so we're going to create a background with different typography. And then later we're going to create the bullpup. Um, we're going to be using Sharpie and watercolor for this project. So today we're just gonna kind of walk through what we're going to do for the background. And so I want you to really focus on when you're looking at these examples, what does their background look like? So um, they used different fonts, obviously, and then they used words that they thought described MMS in a positive way. So if you look at this example, you see the word sports, MMS, art, volleyball, vocal, McPherson, pride, band, bullpups, happy, winners, football, smart, track, focus. Okay, so there's just some examples and you can see all the different fonts that they used. All right, so let's move on to the next one. Okay, this student um, didn't do as many three-dimensional um, fonts, but they still have a pretty good assortment. So Volleyball, MMS, Sports, Pride, Pause, Mac, um, hashtag MMS Proud. Okay, so be thinking of some positive words that um, we use to describe McPherson Middle School. Here's another. Okay, um, which is similar. And then we have one more. Okay, and so today we're really just going to be focused on two things. We're going to be focused on the fonts that we're using and we're going to be work focused on the words that we're using. We're only using pencil today. So in just a minute, I'm going to walk you through the steps on how to do this. And then if you need to look at more examples, you will have access to your Chromebooks today. And then all of these examples are posted in your Google Classroom. So the three materials you're going to need today are your project paper, your ruler and a pencil, okay? And then on the back of your paper, go ahead and write your name. And I would write it small and somewhere not in the middle so that if you need to start over on your project, you can just turn your paper over and you don't have to get a new paper, all right? Okay, so we want all of our papers going horizontally, which is this way. You're going to put your ruler vertically though. Your paper should be 12 inches long and you're going to make a little mark at two inches, and then four inches, six inches, eight inches, and 10 inches. So once again, let me focus for you. Okay, you're going to make a mark at two inches, four inches, six inches, eight inches, and 10 inches. When you are done, then you're going to use your ruler and you're going to draw lines all the way across. Now, I do want to start by saying that you want to draw these lines as light as you can because you are going to erase them. So for this video, you're probably not going to be able to see them very well. In fact, you can hardly see them, but you want to draw them as light as you can because you are going to erase them later. So draw them lightly. Okay. Now when you're done, if you look at your lines and you're like, yikes, those are not straight whatsoever, then you need to make sure to fix them. Okay, you should have one, two, three, four, five, six spaces. And in these six spaces is where you're going to write your words that describe MMS. Okay, so I'm going to show you a couple things now that you can do to help you um, find resources for different fonts. So the first resource that you can use is on your Chromebook and it's a Google Doc, okay? So what you could do is you could go into your Google Doc and you could type the word that you want. I would make it bigger so that you can really see it, okay? And then you can just play around with different fonts. So um, maybe I wanna try Pacifico, all right? And then that could be the first font that you use, right? And you can do that for each word. Every word that you do on your project needs to be a different font, okay? And there's a lot of different fonts that you can look on on Google Docs. 
there's even this little thing at the top that says more fonts that you can go to and it will show you a whole bunch of fonts that you don't even have. Um, so like if you're looking for a handwriting font, the blue ones are the ones that I already have, um, but there's a whole lot more. So if you find one that you like, so say I like rock salt, I'm gonna add that and see how that changes it to rock salt. So you can do that. That's one way that you can um, find fonts. The other one is if you go to a website called dafont.com, dafont.com, okay? And it's gonna kind of do the same thing. It's going to show you some different fonts. So say I want some cartoon fonts. Well, then I can scroll down and find all these different fonts. I really like this crush one. Well, if you click on the font and then you can type in your word, full pups, click submit, and it's actually going to write the word for you. So you can just copy exactly from there. All right. So those are two different ways that you can find um, some different fonts for your project. So if we look at our example again, you can see their words and then you can see the lines see the lines that they drew on there so here's the top one there's a second one etc all right so your goal is to draw three words on each line i definitely don't want to see one you need three words on each line so really think about your words and how you're going to place them that's why we're doing pencil today you're just drawing in pencil we're not doing anything else today so different fonts for every single word if you're having a hard time coming up with words, maybe collaborate with the person sitting at your table, not the person sitting across the room from you. Think of different words that describe MMS. Maybe it doesn't have to be like what you think everyone else thinks about MMS. Maybe it's just words that mean something to you. Okay, not everyone plays football, so not everyone's gonna write football, but words that mean something to you. So one more time, pencil only today, three words per line, and you have to have a different font for every single um, word that you do.